It's one of the most demanding physical tests in the British Army, designed to push soldiers to their limits. Anyone wishing to serve with airborne forces must pass P Company selection to earn their Maroon Beret and start the parachute course. At the Infantry Training School in Catterick, Normandy Platoon are the latest to face the challenge. Our reporter Carla Prater caught up with them during test week. People who've completed this week say they'll never forget it. The memory of the log race or the stretcher run can still send a shudder down even the most experienced of paras. For Normandy platoon, their time has come. They've spent 20 weeks preparing for this. If they succeed, they get the coveted maroon beret they've been waiting for. Lined up for the log race, this is not about who comes first. It's about endurance, leadership and putting in maximum effort around a two-mile route. And this is a day that these recruits will remember for the rest of their lives. It's one of the things that people talk about in the town, how you got on in your log race. And this is one of the hardest tests at P Company. Uh, it doesn't matter how fit you are, how robust you think you are, the logs where it tests your, your mental robustness, your mental fortitude, your will to push forward and win. Get up this hill now! You only have to look at their faces to see how much of a physical challenge this is. The route is far from easy, and it's too much for some, exhausting for others. Imagine myself, you know, reminiscing and having nightmares probably about it, just thinking about it, definitely. It's, it's tough, but you just got to get through it, and it's, I'd say it's the hardest thing I've ever done. By the afternoon, it's the steeplechase, a cross-country course over water obstacles and assaults. They're against the clock, some forging ahead, while others are bogged down by mud and fatigue. First to finish is Private Diego Alvarado, who was a leader from the start. It's a tough event, but it's obviously pick up is not easy. It's, it's hard for a reason, so if you can think about Maroon Bay and that couple especially to get through it. The week is made up of runs, marches, milling and the trinasium, designed to test a recruit's mental determination as much as his physical ability. For us, in reality, the paratroopers are, are created here and the wings are just the, the cherry on top, really. We're looking for mental robustness and that ability to, to drive forward when all else is telling them that actually they don't want to do that. After 20 weeks of training in, in basic, basic paracourt course, they are about as fatigued as you possibly can be and every man there is exhausted so it takes something a little bit special to push on. The final challenge is the five mile stretcher run, just as demanding as the log race and for some even worse. If they weren't tired before, they are now. By the time they've reached the parade square, they wait to see if they've passed. Waiting. Sir, pass, sir. Out of 32, all but five have made it through. And receiving their maroon beret is their reward. It's everything I've always wanted, and I couldn't have asked for much more. <laughs> was, yeah, it's brilliant. It definitely wasn't easy, but you know, I've done it now. <laughs> Glad it's all over. Yeah. <laughs> are you yeah. aching all over? Are you yeah, all right? Yeah, no, I've got a few injuries off that, but uh, I'll be all right. <laughs> Absolutely shattered now, but yeah, happy. I've passed. I've been here for a while because I got injured, so I've been here nine months. So I deserve it. Like, I've worked hard for it, and yeah, just chuffed. This is a moment of pride, and they can now go on to train for their wings. No doubt it's a week they'll remember for years to come. Carla Prater, Forces News, Catterick.